Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we've got a really big college basketball slate, including 13 plays I'm going to be giving you guys today. So uh, we're not going to waste too much time uh, before we get into the video. Just make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel down below, and let me know in the comment section below who your favorite college basketball bet is for today. Now a quick recap of yesterday, another one play day. So back-to-back -back one plays, back-to-back -back one and outs. I'll take it. Uh, UNC came in clutch. They won by 10 when they were minus three. So that was really nice. We are now uh, 180, 173, and four uh, in college basketball this season. We're up at 51% again. So I want to continue to climb that up to 52, 53% by the time we get to March Madness. All right, let's get right into these games here. We're going to be starting with a matchup in the Colonial Conference. We have the Towson. Oh, we have Towson taking on James Madison. It is now a three and a half point spread. Uh, minus 165, run back of plus 145 for uh, Towson. Uh, Towson coming to this game three and seven, two and three in conference play. James Madison is seven and five, two and one in conference play. Uh, Towson coming in, losing back-to-back -back games versus Hofstra. Uh, James Madison coming in on a win against Northeastern. And I think James Madison's going to keep it, uh, their winning streak going today. They're going to get a second in a row. They're going to take care of business against Towson, cover that three-and-a-half point spread. My model has James Madison winning by ten-and-a-half points. So we're getting about seven points of value on this line. So massive uh, value to start the uh, slate here at 4 o'clock. Where we where we will be taking Towson minus three or James Madison minus three and a half versus Towson. Next, we head to the Northeastern Conference, uh, where we have Fairly Dickinson taking on Saint Francis. Uh, it's a four and a half point spread. Uh, no money lines on this right now. Uh, both these teams are not looking good coming into this game. Three and eight for. Uh, fairly Dickinson two and three in conference play. St. Francis is three and nine, two and six in conference play. So these are two of the uh, lower teams in that conference. Uh, these two teams played yesterday, and uh, Fairly Dickinson won their game yesterday. Uh, so I think that this is a spot where uh, it's one of those back to backs, and we get a little bit of revenge here. We're gonna go to St. Francis here minus four and a half. My model has them winning by 11 points, and we're getting 6.5 points of vol uh, value on this line. So we're taking St. Francis. Oh, wow, that just moved to 3, The uh, that top game. Uh, but uh, we're taking St. Francis minus 4.5 versus Fairleigh Dickinson. Next, we have a 5 o'clock game between Bowling Green and Kent State. Some A little bit of action here. It's a... Four and a half point spread. Let me adjust that on my paper. Four and a half point spread. Uh, minus 195 for Kent State. Run back of plus 170 for Bowling Green. Uh, Bowling Green coming in 10 and 5, 6 and 3 in the MAC. But off back to back losses against Miami, Ohio, and uh, Akron. Kent State is 7 and 4, 4 and 3 in the MAC coming off of a loss against Toledo. Uh, but I'm going to be going with the favorite here. Uh, I like this line at minus five. I like it even more at minus four and a half. My model has Kent State winning by 12. So you're getting seven and a half points of uh, value on this uh, line. We have a ton of volume, uh, value today. So uh, especially in these early games, we're getting some value here. We're taking Kent State minus four and a half for, versus Bowling Green. Next, we're going to have... Mark, uh, we have a battle in the biggies with Marquette in Providence. One and a half point spread, minus 125 for Providence, plus 105 for Marquette. Um, both these teams coming in eight and seven. Both these teams coming in four and five. Both these teams coming in off a loss. Marquette lost to DePaul in their last game. Providence lost to Villanova. And uh, we're going to be going with the, uh, the slight dog here. And I'm going to go straight to the money line here. Uh, but I'm, I would also go to the plus one and a half as well. The video, it'll be a plus one and a half pick. 
Um, my model has Marquette winning by 3.6 points. So we're getting 5.1 points of value on the uh, plus one and a half line. And we're getting 3.6 points of value on a plus 105 line. So I don't mind either of these, either of those bets. Uh, it should be a uh, good game between these two teams. We're taking Marquette plus one and a half against Providence. Next, we have the Knights of Central Florida taking on the Pirates of East Carolina. Uh, it's a six-point spread, minus 260, run back of plus 220 for East Carolina here. And uh, both these teams coming in really struggling. Uh, ECU is 7-4, and 1-4 and four in the American Conference. Uh, they're on a three-game losing streak in, right now against Memphis, US, uh, South Florida, and Tulane. Uh, Central Florida coming in three and six, one and five in the American Conference, and they're on a five-game skid right now uh, against SMU, Houston twice, Temple, and South Florida, and uh, on a, with a team on a five-game losing streak, I'm not trying to lay any points on there. We're going to take the points here at the ECU plus six, and I'll potentially think about that plus two twenty money line for East Carolina tonight. Uh, my model has Central Florida winning by only 0.4 points. So you're getting about a pick uh on this game, and it's a plus 220 line. I like that one. Uh, give me East Carolina, the Pirates, at plus 6. Next, we have Georgia versus South Carolina battle in the SEC. It's a 4.5 point spread. Um Four and a half point spread, minus, uh, minus 195, run back of plus 170. And uh, Georgia coming into this game, 9 and 5, 2 and 5 in SEC play. And uh, South Carolina coming into this game, 3 and 5, 1 and 3 in SEC play. Georgia coming off a loss versus Florida. And South Carolina is on a three game losing streak versus Auburn, Mizzou, and LSU. Um, and we're going to go with the team that we're just going to be uh, let, are taking the points here with the team that uh, is not on a three-game skid, plus four and a half with Georgia. And we're going to look at that plus 170 line as well. My model has them winning by 2.1 2. 1 points, Georgia. Uh, so a very nice value here on that plus 170 line we're looking at. We'll be taking them. Uh, Georgia plus four and a half versus South Carolina. Next, we have Penn State taking on Ohio State. It's now an eight-point spread, minus 350 for Ohio State, plus 280 for Penn State. Penn State coming into this 5-6, and 2-5 and five in the Big Ten Conference. Ohio State is 12-4, and 6-4 four, and four in the Big, uh, Big Ten. Uh, Penn State coming in on back-to-back -back wins now after they lost their first five conference games. Uh, they got wins versus Northwestern and Rutgers. Uh, when Ohio State coming in off a, a really nice win of themselves, a plus or a tenth ranked Wisconsin team they beat. But we'll be looking at Penn State here. I like this line back when it was seven and a half. I love it even more at plus eight. Uh, my model has Ohio State winning this game by two point three points. I just think it's going to be a closer game, and uh, uh, Penn State will be able to cover that plus eight line. Next, we have a matchup in the ACC, and it's actually gone up a point now from when I last checked it. We have NC State taking care, uh, taking on Wake Forest. It's an eight-point spread, minus 265, run back of plus 295 for Wake Forest. Uh, Wake Forest comes in four and six, one and six in the ACC. They finally got their first conference win last game against Pitt. NC State coming in six and five. After starting 2-0 in conference play, they're now 2-4. They're on a four-game skid. Uh, losses versus UNC, Florida State, Miami, and Clemson. We're going to be looking at Wake Forest here with that plus 8 and potentially on that plus 295 money line. Um, my model has this at a pick -em. They have uh, NC State winning by zero points. That's what the model says. Uh, so we're getting eight points of val uh, value on Wake Forest here. Um, so I'm looking to take them plus eight for sure. And then on that plus 295 money line as well.
All right, we got five more games to go over here. And now we have a marquee matchup here between Houston Baptist and Incarnate Word. It's a three point spread. Um, minus, or yeah, no money lines, my bad. I'm, you know, no money lines here. Houston Baptist coming in two and 12, one and five in conference play. Incarnate Word is six and six, three and two in conference play. Uh, Word is coming in off of a win against uh, Texas A&M CC. Houston Baptist coming in on a L5 streak versus losses versus powerhouses of McNeese, Nichols, Sam Houston State, uh, Abilene Christian, and Lamar. Definitely not a team I'm looking to back. We're going to go with uh, Incardinate Word here at minus three. The line was at minus uh, three and a half, so we're getting a little bit more uh, value there. My model has Incardinate Word winning by nine points, so we're getting about six points of value on that line. Next, we have a matchup here in the Big East. No. Yeah, uh, St. John's and DePaul. It is a pick em for this game. Um, and coming in, St. Uh, St. John's is 9 and 7, 3 and 6 in conference play. DePaul is 3 and 5, and they just got their first conference win against Marquette. And we're going to go be going with DePaul here in this game. Um, my model has them winning by 4.6 points. So we're getting 4.6 points of value on that Pick'em line. They were at plus one. They've gotten some money down to the Pick'em. But uh, we're going with DePaul here at a Pick'em. Next, we have Washington State taking on Colorado. Battle in the Pac-12. Um, it's a 14-point spread. Colorado is a 14-1 to favorite. Um, Washington State's a plus 825. Um, Washington State coming in 9 and 6, 2 and 6 in uh, in conference play on a five game losing streak versus Colorado, Utah, USC, UCLA, and Stanford. Uh, Stanford. Uh, Colorado coming in 12 and 4, 7 and 3 in conference play. Uh, they're coming off a win against Washington State yesterday. And I don't want to lay 14 points on a back to back. We're going with Washington State here, plus 14. My model has them losing by 8.5 points. So we're getting uh, 6.5 points of volume, uh, value on this line. 5.5 points of value on this line. So we're going with Washington State here, plus 14 versus Colorado. Two more games left on this long slate. We have Louisville taking on Clemson. Um Clemson is a minus one and a half favorite, minus 130, and run back a plus 110 for Louisville. Louisville, 25th in the nation, coming in 10 and 3, 5 and 2 in the ACC, um, coming off a win versus Duke. And uh, Clemson coming in uh, 9 and 4, 3 and 4 in conference play on a three game losing streak. Versus Florida State, Georgia Tech, and Virginia, but I believe this is the this is the game that Clemson bounces back and they uh, get off their skid here um, and get the win. My model has them winning by eight point eight points, uh, which is giving us seven point three points of value on this line for Clemson. So we'll be taking the Tigers over Louisville minus one and a half, and on our final. Game of the slate, we have Utah, Utah State taking on UNLV. Um, six and a half point spread, minus 283 plus uh, run back of plus 238. Um, Utah State coming in 12 and 5, 9 and 2 in conference play. They are on a two game losing streak versus UNLV and Colorado State. Uh, these two teams played yesterday. UNLV got the win. They're on a five-game winning streak versus the powerhouses of well, Utah State. They played yesterday. And then Benedict, New Mexico, St. Catherine, and yeah, 
they're on a five game winning streak versus schools like that. Uh, we're going with the favorite here at minus six and a half. My model has them winning by 11 and a half points. We're getting five points of value on this line. So we will be, we will be going with Utah State minus six and a half. All right, let's quickly review over our plays, and then we're going to head on out here for this video. We have James Madison at minus three, St. Francis at plus four, or minus four and a half. We have Kent State at minus four and a half as well. We have Marquette at minus two, ECU at plus six, Georgia at plus four and a half, Penn State at plus eight, Wake Forest at plus eight, Incarnate Word at minus three, DePaul at a pick'em. Washington State at plus 14, Clemson minus one and a half, and Utah State at minus six and a half. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, and turn on post notifications uh, so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. We have a wide range of sports from the NFL college basketball, college football, UFC, eSports, NBA, WNBA, NHL, and MLB. So we are constantly coming out with more content each and every day. So be sure you subscribe and you know whenever we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. But that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and let's cash some bets in college basketball tonight. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.